Hello, I'm Neely Jones, your host of Focus on Suppliers. In this week's episode, we focus on back to school and back to college. Families want a seamless shopping experience, whether it be online or in store. Our friends from Bed Bath & Beyond share how they take one need and translate it into several big moment opportunities. Plus, all of that talks with us about focusing on what the consumer's looking for, not just your buyer. And Will Roth explains the benefit of partnering with colleges to promote your brand. Focus on Supplier starts now. Focus on Suppliers is presented by 8th and Walton, the premier destination for supplier development, and sponsored in part by Dunn and Bradstreet, Saatchi and Saatchi X, Case Stack, Excel Displays and Packaging, and other outstanding companies. Your Millennial Fun Fact is of the Millennials going back to school this season, 85% of them are planning on spending what they spent last year, if not more, in their back to school shopping needs. As a part of that, 6% plan to spend that only online. That means that most of our Millennials are going to be shopping both online and in store for all of their back to school needs. It's important that as we create those retail shopping environments for them, either online or in store, that we're really making it about connecting with them emotionally, providing them with tips and trends that are happening in the marketplace. This is really going to motivate their purchase by giving them reasons to buy that are all related back to what those tips and trends are. We've got to facilitate that purchase by making it easy for them to buy and pick up. Ultimately, we've got to facilitate that purchase experience to make it as easy as possible for them when they're shopping either online or in the retail environment for their back to school needs. And we'll see you for your next Millennial Minute. When we talk about back to college, we thought, why not visit with our friends at Bed Bath & Beyond? This retailer really works hard to cater to that demographic and others. So joining me today is Jennifer Simpson. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Neely. I appreciate let's, it. let's dive right in. I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm pretty excited about this. <laughs> you guys have a unique program where you can order something, but you don't have to take it with you because you can pick it up somewhere else? Absolutely. What we do, you come in, you choose all your merchandise, like you're scanning for a, a bridal registry. We send that list to the closest store, the location you're going to. We pack it up. We have it ready for you for pickup. And it's called pack and hold. Pack and hold. Yes, ma'am. But to go along with that, if you have questions, because maybe you're moving from here to D.C. and you don't know exactly what a certain school will allow or won't allow, or the size of the beds. Sure. We have lists available um, for every college, every community college. It tells you exactly what you need, the dimensions of your dorm room, how big your closet is, which most don't think about that so storage under the bed is important I know as girls we have so many pairs of shoes clothes so it's hard to bring your clothes for an entire year especially if you're not close enough to come home and switch it out and it also tells you what's allowed and then yeah. what's, what's not allowed so yes it's just exactly tools. and for you guys this is more than just a seasonal Absolutely. thing we want to make that transition to college as seamless as possible so that you think of us for all your needs so when you get the first job and you're moving for to furnish your first apartment, you come to us. When you get married and you're so excited, you come and build your bridal registry with us and then pick out all the items for your home. Then you have your first child. We want to build that customer for a lifetime. You just want them to know yes. that they're going to be treated well and then come back. Absolutely. And, okay. So let's look at your neighborhood stores because some stores are far apart and some aren't. How do you make them different as the manager? Just being so close to Fayetteville, it is such a, a huge difference. Being a college town as opposed to Northwest Arkansas, we've got a melting pot of people from all across the country. Um, again, we have a retirement community to our north, and they're a very big part of our business and a loyal, trusted customer that we enjoy. Um, we bring in local artists, local vendors, and we're, you encourage that? Absolutely, absolutely. Please come in anytime. I'd be, and I will give anyone the time. It may be the perfect item for our store. 
And, you're, and we're referencing, for those of you not in Northwest Arkansas, there's a Fayetteville store and there's a store in Rogers. They're about 30 minutes apart. And so this is how you guys try to differentiate those Absolutely. stores and really give them a local feel. Is Absolutely. that a good way to put it? Yes. Okay. Last thing, sometimes you have special events to engage people, correct? Yes. Um, just this July 17th, we had a Back to College event. So much fun. Lots of giveaways. We give expert advice. We help you set up your dorm room. We had a, a sample dorm room so you could see it in real life on the dimensions and what you'll actually need and what's useful. So it was great. The kids really enjoyed it. So lots of options yeah. at Bed Bath Beyond. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. No, thank you. I appreciate it. Nice to see you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Be sure to like Ethan Walton on Facebook. We'd like to welcome Brian Hutchinson, Vice President of Shopper Marketing from Excel Displays and Packaging. Welcome, Brian. Thanks, Andy. Glad to be here. Brian, can you share with us some of your insights and thoughts on back to school with Walmart this year? Sure. So just like other years, you're going to see a whole lot of the same. Uh, you're going to see the pallet train and you're going to see the retail signage announcing back to school and, and all the displays all around the store. Uh, but this year, uh, it's going to be a little bit different. It's not business as usual. Uh, we have a new player who's entering the market, and that's the Millennial Mom. The Millennial Mom. So how are they shopping differently? And, and what would you tell suppliers that they need to do with their brand in order to, to communicate better to the Millennial? Sure. So uh, as you know, this is a very stressful time for moms. Mm -hmm. uh, and so any chance that we, we can help brands uh, eliminate that stress, uh, reduce her amount of time shopping in this area is going to go a long way. In fact, seven out of ten moms are going to give or receive recommendations. Uh, and so brands that can help with that in eliminating that time and stress during this process is going to go a long way into making it onto her recommendation list. Sure. The other thing is that 62% of millennial parents uh, like to support brands who stand for a worthwhile cause. And the old model of buy one, give one uh, is kind of outdated and is, it's shifting now. Millennial parents, they want to see a brand who, st uh, who stands for something, who wants to make a change to something that needs to be attacked. Uh, brands who make their cause clear are going to succeed. Well, Brian, it sounds like the millennial moms are really changing the retail space, both for Walmart and other retailers. They are, yes. Yeah. The millennial moms are coming. They are. Yeah. So people want to find out more information or talk with you, Excel, Display and Packaging, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, so they can visit our website at www.xlpop.com. Great. Well, thank you so much for your insight and your time today, Brian. Thank you, Andy. We'll be right back. When we talk about back to school or back to college, it only makes sense to have a friend here from the Sam Walton College of Business. And I want to say thank you so much for being here with us today. We have Brent Williams, who's the Associate Dean. Thank you. You guys have a lot of things happening. I want to stop for a minute before we jump right in and say there's wonderful opportunity here for our suppliers to partner with you and really work with you mm -hmm. and vice versa. I think there's some great ways for suppliers to engage. Our student population is growing. We have 5,800 students. Wow. We want you to hire those students. Uh, so please engage with us in that way. I think another wonderful way to engage is internships. And it's a way that you can begin small with us, hire a student that's coming out of their junior year, sophomore year, bring them into your business, putting them on a, put them on a meaningful project, let them learn from you and you learn from them. And then really create that partnership where they can offer feedback to you about maybe more of what they need to see and vice versa. I think CPG and supplier executives can really look at these students and learn what does this workforce want? What is this generation looking for when they're applying for jobs? And that could help everyone with recruitment, right? And keeping talent here. Absolutely. And that benefits the Walton College because as these students get great internships, great jobs, the demand only increases. Word of mouth spreads. Speaking of, everyone is so excited about the McMillan Innovation Studio. I know you are. How did we get here? I'm excited. This idea was born actually out of Center for Retailing Excellence. The idea was simple. It was our students need to understand how to be innovative. Mm -hmm. They need to understand the technology that's going to transform retail in the future. The Center for Retailing Excellence sponsored this. And then we really aren't even, we don't even have a grand opening, but we've already expanded. We've moved to a new location thanks to the generosity of Doug and Shelly McMillan. It's so crazy to me to think about that. You don't launch until the fall, but you've already expanded. 
that shows you the support that we have in Northwest Arkansas. So fair to say suppliers probably want to get on board with this now. Absolutely. And so once we open, once we're grand open, please come by. Uh, visit the studio, see what's going on, interact with the students, touch it and feel it. And you really want communication, so how should they reach out to you? What's the best way? I think the first thing to do is please go to the Macmillan Innovation Studio website, understand what the mission is, and please engage us through that. Email us, and we'll set up a time for you to tour the studio. I, I want to see the studio. I know a lot of people I hope do. you come. I just want to kind of back up and just kind of put all of this in one nice package and say, basically, if suppliers will work with you, and if the Sam and Walton College of Business can work with them, we set up a great synergy for keeping talent here, working on future recruitment, and just continuing to grow what's already wonderful. Is that a good way to... I think that's right. We want to be a part of the Northwest Arkansas ecosystem. And legacy. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back. We've heard from previous guests the importance of customization and localization. So when we talk about back to school, back to college, this comes up a lot. With us today, a special guest, Will Roth from ING, to talk a little bit more about how suppliers can partner with different colleges and why they might want to do that. Yeah, so I'm glad to be here. So, so we really look at that in two ways. To me, there are two reasons why partnering with the Razorbacks is such a value. Number one is standard marketing and advertising. Regardless of what your product is, you need to get your brand, your logo, your word out there. And so when Razorback fans are at attendance at whatever event it might be, they are seeing your advertising. They're seeing your logo in our venues. The second reason, which is a little more specialized to Northwest Arkansas, is the community and local engagement it provides you. We all know that Walmart places a big emphasis on their suppliers, on their vendors, being involved in the Northwest Arkansas community. Mm -hmm. And there are a few things that, that shine a bigger spotlight on Northwest Arkansas than the Arkansas Razorbacks. And so our partners have found great value in that brand exposure from marketing and advertising and the community public relations piece. Well, let's talk about that. We have an example of that in Kettle Chips. Absolutely. We've had a great relationship with Kettle Chips for seven or eight years. They are the official chip of the Razorbacks. And so we, we came to them again seven or eight years ago and started this partnership where they will get the marketing, they will get the advertising value, and then they have the rights to utilize the Razorback logo and the phrase official chip of the Razorbacks. On top of that, which is, which is another added bonus for them, is that we sell their chips in all concession stands at Razorback events. And who wouldn't want that, right? Absolutely. Great exposure for them. But I also want to talk about the lift in sales and then out of the top 10 super centers, you were telling us what you've seen. Yes. So there's a great stat with Kettle Chips. A few years ago, they showed me that uh, of their stores across the country, two of the top 10 Kettle chip stores sales for Kettle Chips were in Northwest Arkansas. And so that, that is a great... Um, stat for me to show that our partnerships truly work for our suppliers. And I just have to ask you a lighthearted question. Your job has to be so much fun. It is. For someone who grew up in Arkansas and who realizes that the Arkansas Razorbacks are everything in this state to me personally and to so many Arkansans, it's a dream come true every day. Oh, thank you so much for taking the time to share with us. Thank you, Neely. We'll be right back. Joining us now is Doug Keller from Infinity Product Group. Thank you for being here today. You're welcome. Thanks for, thanks for having me. We have about three minutes and a lot to talk about. I'm jumping okay. right in. One of the categories you're in, obviously, accessories. Scars have been very successful for you. What are some of the trends you've seen? Yeah, they have been, and they've turned into more of a licensed product for us. Uh, it's a great accessory for, for ladies to put on over uh, and still show their team spirit. So what we've done is developed a, an Infinity Team Sports Scarf that has all of the licensed logos on it. Uh, we license in over 150 teams for uh, our scarf. Which is quite a process, but it's something that's paid off for you in the long run. It is a process. You've got to go through a lot of the pre-production, post-production, and of course all of the development prior to that. We talk about licensing, and I'm seeing it also here, which is another product that you carry. Yeah, our comfy critters are great. They're wearable stuffed animals, and we've licensed those products with uh, Nickelodeon and Eric Carl, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And when you show a lot of great licensing partners great product, they are very supportive. You know, they get a lot of product a lot of times that just don't cut the mustard. But uh, our products do, and our comfy critters definitely do. Well, show us a comfy critter. So show a comfy us critter, he's a wearable stuffed animal, so he sits like this. Or the kids can unfold them, and they turn into a, a wearable blanket. And then when they're done running around playing with it, carrying it, they fold it back up, 
and the parents love it because it's machine washable mm -hmm. and it turns back into something nice and neat and not just a blanket thrown all over the place. Well, and if you're taking so, a road trip, then you just toss it in the car. You have a pillow and blanket and one. You don't have to take two things, Yeah, that's right? right. That's right. And they go crazy for it. Well, so. one of the things that's been important for you, and you have said this, I'm not putting words in your mouth, you were kind of a little slow to embrace it, but I think you're glad you have now, is e-commerce. Right. It, you know, that's turned into a, a great platform for us, and it's also been a great testing market for us because that's a channel where we put product out there and we get tremendous feedback. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, we get great feedback. Any advice you would offer to other suppliers watching today that might translate to their category, whatever it may be? Yeah, I think make sure, it, listen, you've got to do a great job. You've got to provide what you're going to, you know, do what you say you're going to do, but also don't be afraid to go big. Do it. Fight off more than you that's can chew that's is exactly what you said, right. right? That's exactly right. Okay, and then how important is innovation? Uh, we spend probably four or five hours a week on innovation. We come up with new products for new categories all the time. So we spend, we put a lot of effort into that. You said to me, you're only as good as your last product. That's what you have to keep in mind. Yes, that is true. That's okay. right. Thank you so much for being here today. And I just want to reiterate to people the two points that I took from what you were saying. One, if you've got an idea, go big or go home. Right. <laughs> right. And to keep innovating because when you stop innovating is when you get behind. Right. And that's when you just stay stagnant. And everybody likes to grow. Exactly. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll be right back. Follow Ethan Walton on Twitter. Botair Office Park is conveniently located off I-49 and near Walmart's facilities. Our beautiful campus is Northwest Arkansas's largest office park. Let us build to suit your needs. Rates start at $14.50 per square foot. Visit Botair.com today. K-Stack, the leader in collaborative retail consolidation programs. We offer the supply chain expertise needed to navigate the challenges of selling products with the world's largest retailers. And we provide customers with a customizable, scalable, environmentally sustainable supply chain with the same advanced technology typically used by larger rivals. By leveling the playing field, K-Stack lowers distribution costs and increases overall margins. K-Stack, retail logistics is what we do. Bentonville Plaza, across the street from the Walmart home office. The best office location offers proximity and services like no other business complex in the area. Call 479-200-1112 today. You just had your buyer meeting. Now there's follow-up to do. Maybe your buyer wants more on seasonal sales or invited you to prepare a joint business plan or set up a date for your line review. Ethan Walton can help. Our experts work with you one-on-one -on -one in a confidential setting to prepare for your next buyer meeting. The classes we offer help you too. Retail link, supply chain management, inventory management, taught in cities across the country, in Canada, and in Latin America. So before your next buyer meeting, contact Ethan Walton. Then relax, knowing that you will be ready. Always a pleasure to have our friends from Olivet International here. And with me today, Megan Overby, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me again. You guys have a wonderful product that you've put together. Let's first tell our suppliers and our viewers what you've got. Sure. So in stores now, we have a five-piece backpack set. It retails at $9.88, which is an amazing value for the customer. It's a backpack, a lunch kit, a meal carrier, a cinch sack, and a water bottle. We've got the lunch kits here on the, on the desk, but I want to especially talk to you about because we're looking at the back-to-school, back-to-college mm -hmm. category, the importance of packaging and price point in this. Sure. I mean, those are both, both very important. Um, the price point needs to be a very, very sharp, compelling price point for the customer, um, high value. So in this item, we feel that we've achieved that at $9.88. You're getting a tremendous value on that. Um, packaging is really important because you only have a few seconds to sell the customer once they're looking at the product and making their decisions. So we've made sure that we've included really clear packaging so when they're looking at our product, they know right up front what they're getting and what the um, different accessory pieces look like when they're making that purchase. And you guys also really tried to think about the consumer in, this, in the sense of convenience. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I think that's really important. We always think about what's the lifestyle of this customer who's going to be purchasing this product and how do we make it easier for them and make sure that our product can cater to all those different events that they have going on in their busy life. So we've, we've included that in, in definitely in the thought process behind creating this product. So as they're checking off the, some of the things they need to get maybe for back to school, this is also some of the things they just might use. Yeah, so they can check off backpack, but along with doing that and making that purchase, they can also check off meal carrier, a water bottle, a pencil case. 
price. So it's it's a really added value to making that purchase. You guys have worked really hard and you've seen a lot of success as a result of that. We ha obviously have suppliers who watch this show. A valuable piece of information that you might share with them that they can take away from this. I think that it's very important to always think about the customer when you're creating your product. You have to sell the buyer, of course, but you have to sell the customer. And when the product hits on hits the floor, um, that's what they're going to be thinking, and that's what's going to, at the end, make your product successful or not. So thinking of how do we cater to their busy lifestyle, what function and features would you be looking for if you were making this product, and, and even doing some um, different wear tests with customers and having them take it out and, and finding the feedback from them on what you need to change or adjust before it actually gets to store level. And then is it fair to say, yes, you want to hit your price point, but don't sacrifice quality? Is that? You always have to have quality first. I mean, you want to give the product and the customer product that's going to last, and, and that's very important to us. And that's part of, of the customer making um, the purchase and the decision to purchase that item. So we do not sacrifice quality. Is it fair to say if you're taking care of the consumer, really, you're also taking care of the buyer, and it all kind of works together? Absolutely. Okay. We want the customer to be happy, the supplier and the buyer. And if the customer is happy, they're going to continue to purchase the product, and that's obviously going to make the supplier and the buyer happy as well. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Joining us now is special guest, one of our own that I'm so pleased to introduce you to, Ron Tarks. Thank you for taking the time. It's great to be here, Neely. You have more than 20 plus years experience in the retail world, including Walmart. Yes, it, you know, retail's a great uh, career to be in. It's very interesting, very broad uh, business. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Well, I wanted to ask you today about something that we hear about a lot. It, it's a problem, and I know you have a definite opinion when it comes to out of stocks. Yes, you know, from a store manager point of view, as in operations for a long time, uh, it, it's a real problem when a store becomes out of stock. And, you know, when you walk into a store, you see a lot of out of stocks on the shelf. You know that sales are probably going to be a problem for a long time because you begin to lose modular in integrity. Even when a product does come back in, where does it go? It's much more difficult to stock. Uh, you know, the, the shelf space gets taken up by some other items. Uh, the labels end up moving or coming off. It's a real problem. But you're saying that there are some things that suppliers can do to avoid this. The importance maybe on forecasting. Yes. You, you know, there's, uh, you know, for many of the suppliers watching, they'll think, you know, yes, store execution problems. But what can a supplier do? You know, forecasting is very important. Uh, having your fine lines right so that the forecasting uh, adjusts to seasonality correctly, mm -hmm. uh, working very closely with a replenishment manager, those are, are all things that are very important uh, in order to have a consistent in stock level. And speaking of consistency, let's talk about efficiency. Labeling can make such a big difference. Yes, you know, something as simple as what Walmart's requesting now in the, of the food suppliers, and that's where you have uh, the barcode on all six sides of a box. You know, being able to find that item in the back and scan it and uh, do, make your pick list and take it to the floor and stock it, those things are important. Whatever you can do to help with the store's execution makes a lot of difference. So really kind of take a look at what you can do eternally and go from there. Yes. Whatever you can do to put a program together to make it easy for the store, uh, you're, you're, it's going to make uh, produce results. And I'm assuming proactive is better than reactive always. No doubt. Okay, so when we talk about a couple of things, we've given them two. Are there a few more things that suppliers can do to help with this? Um, think like a customer. Uh, you know, it, it, uh, it, it is a very challenging thing. Out of stocks are very critical, but that exponential problem of running out, you know, be fanatical about it. D you know, whatever you do, don't let an item be out of stock. And it is frustrating at times because you have to work together with Walmart to make that happen, mm -hmm. but it's worth your effort. Uh, you know, the, the sales, again, is an exponential problem once you run out. And as a consumer, I want to know that I can go to the same place in the store and that's where I'm going to find my item, that I can count on it. You don't want to, you don't want to have a, a customer change their habit by going somewhere else. Once that happens, uh, you, you know, a company like Walmart, they lose that trip. Uh, even if it's just once a month, that makes a big difference on the overall basket. Now, if you haven't been on the shelf for a while, when is the time to plan for your next modular? Uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> you need to study the, the, the item. Again, preparing for your, your uh, forecasting, what's selling, what's not selling, uh, how, to, how it fits on the modular, 
um, you know, the product, et cetera. Even something as simple as what should the shelf label description be? That helps with the stocking when uh, the stockers and, and the, the sales associates are stocking the counter. So every efficiency you can put in place, your team, look at that. Exactly. So just to name a few, the labeling, we mentioned that. Mm -hmm. Think like a consumer. Don't let it happen in the first place. Is that That's a good right. way to put That's it? That's right. And then if it does happen, remember, you may lose that space and not get it back. So if you can, the quicker you can recover, the better. Exactly. Such good information. Ron, thank you so much for being here. We'll be right back. Visit us at 8thandwalton.com to learn how you can become a better partner with Walmart. Bentonville Plaza, across the street from the Walmart home office. The best office location offers proximity and services like no other business complex in the area. Call 479-200-1112 today. K-Stack, the leader in collaborative retail consolidation programs. We offer the supply chain expertise needed to navigate the challenges of selling products with the world's largest retailers. And we provide customers with a customizable, scalable, environmentally sustainable supply chain with the same advanced technology typically used by larger rivals. By leveling the playing field, K-Stack lowers distribution costs and increases overall margins. K-Stack, retail logistics is what we do. Bentonville Commerce, less than one mile from the Walmart home office. You'll love the convenience, amenities, and customized options Bentonville Commerce offers. For more information or a tour, call 479-200-1112 today. Are bookkeeping disputes a pain in the neck? Take two aspirin and call us in the morning. Ethan Walton, for a needs assessment, custom training in a confidential setting, and classes online and in person. Call Ethan Walton. 479-715-6700 and feel better fast. When we talk about back to school and back to college, who better to have on the show than our friends from BIC? That brings me to our next guest, which is Linda Palladino. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. And Tom Field, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Let's just jump right in. When we take a look at the stationary category, the rise in technology, how has BIC been able to deal with that and really merge the two? Sure. Technology continues to transform our classrooms today. However, handwriting and consumer engagement remain very important. In fact, the stationary category has seen solid growth over the last year of 5% and has continued that mo positive momentum in the 2016 up 4% year to date. So you have this information. How do you then take it and continue to really engage the consumer, if you will, because you're dealing with all different age groups. Right. And we know that consumers are really omni-channel shoppers. They're in-store checking pricing, looking at other retailers. They're at home looking at online reviews before they go to the store. We know that e-commerce is really growing, but it's interesting if you look at the stationary category, uh, nine in 10 consumers actually say for back to school supplies, they're gonna be buying those in store. So really brick and mortar is still so important. And for BIC, it's important to reach consumers where they are. So if they're driving to the store, they're gonna hear our ad on the radio. If they're in store, they'll see it on their phone. Mm -hmm. So it's really about reaching them where they are, but also having the right message. So we know moms and dads are really passionate about their children and their education. So we want to make sure that we're reaching them with a message that resonates. And we have our BIC Fight for Your Right mission, mm -hmm. which is um, where consumers can go online, they can pledge to celebrate handwriting. It's about turning boring into fun, having fun writing instruments, and consumers are really on board with that. Uh, we have over 129,000 consumers who have pledged to celebrate handwriting with us. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, educators love that, moms love that, and if you're making it fun for kids and you're covering all spectrums, that's awesome. So we've got suppliers, obviously, watching today, and we always like to ask, is there a piece of advice that you might offer to other suppliers just to be aware of as they move forward? Sure. Um, suppliers today are, are facing a rapidly changing retail environment. Um, it's really key to get out ahead of that with joint business planning meetings supported with consumer insights and behaviors. Um, Walmart continues to rely on their supplier base to be experts within their category and to, to deliver uh, recommendations based on that expertise. Um, at BIC, we're very proud of our strong relationship with Walmart, which is anchored by strong synergies in our uh, quality and value positions. So as a good way to put it, just be sure you're communicating with everyone across all platforms. Is that good advice to offer? Absolutely. Thank you both so much for being here today and sharing so much about BIC and all the things that you're doing with our viewers. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to have you. We'll be right back.
Our guests enjoy staying at the 21C Museum Hotel and hosting dinner, meetings, and product launches there. That does it for this week's show. Here are three key takeaways you may want to jot down. No matter what your category, remember, make it fun. No matter what the product line, tell your story. Also, when working with Walmart, remember, build in good, better, best when dealing with your product line. And it's critical you stay in stock. Remember, when you lose that shelf space, it's very difficult to get it back. I'm Neely Jones. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here next week.